Tea time with Trav. She worked at the prison and she fell in love with an inmate, ultimately had sex with him and started a relationship. So she got fired from her job, got sentenced to 60 days in jail, and now she's on probation for two years. What's going on, y'all? It's Ariel Chopper, and I'm back, 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 biggity back. I'm back again. Y'all, today, I have a steak. I have a whole steak, y'all. Got a bone in ribeye. I have some yellow rice, some green beans, and then I have some homemade uh, shish kebabs. Y'all, I kind of burnt the sticks and stuff a little bit, but don't worry about it. I'm sure it's still going to be good. It better be. I'm going to be upset. Let me put the right here. I'm about to go ahead and get started. My steak. Oh, I hope it's medium rare. Like between, I tried to go for between medium rare and medium, but we gonna see. Y'all know this. I think it's my second time cooking steak. I'm scared. I don't know why. Oh my god! I cooked it perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Y'all know I like a little red in my steak. I know everybody don't like to be a little reddish pinkish. I know everybody don't eat like that, but you know. Mm. Oh, I got boom. I'm gonna cut. That's the only thing that's the only thing about ribeyes. They're really fatty. But they so good. That's how I like my steak. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I forgot to get a real fork. How about a knife in case I need to cut it? We got the real knife right here. Then we got a real fork and get them. And I ain't getting enough. People say, why would it fall like that? People say supposed to slide it up to bite it. Y'all see the ends are a little burnt, but it's still good though. Y'all. This the meal for a champion. I feel like a champ. Rice cook good. Yes, y'all, I made all this myself. I gotta get back to my steak, y'all. Just take a look at it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even know where to bite. I'm sorry. I'm rude. How y'all day going? Y'all, I'm just over here in heaven. Mm. 
Yo, this is so good. I'm gonna start the uh, topic before I forget that the camera in front of me because I'm this is good. It's so good. All right, y'all ready? Tea time with Trav. I know I was going to finish that. Y'all was drinking about cooking and then the rest was history. Yeah, see, I'm going to take off this little piece right here because it's, it's real burnt. But like I said, we're not going to talk about that. You know, it's just the, the vegetables cooked a little quicker than the chicken. But I had to make sure the chicken was done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I didn't want to get salmonella. If that's how I get salmonella, I don't know. But y'all know what I'm saying. Anyway, y'all know I love love the show Love After Lockup. They have a spinoff called Life After Lockup, but that one's not on right now. So we're watching a new season of Love After Lockup. And it's just so good. But it'd be crazy to me what these people do for love. I don't know if they think they know. So one of the cast members, mm, I thought hers was crazy. She worked at the prison and she fell in love with an inmate, ultimately had sex with him and started a relationship. So she got fired from her job, got sentenced to 60 days in jail, and now she's on probation for two years. And now he just got out of prison, so they're going to try to live their life together. And I just think that's nuts. You know? I know they, they say love make you do crazy things, but that was, ma'am, you now have a record because you were dating an inmate. She had no job. She clearly committed a felony. So now it's hard for her to find work. So now that he's out, he's telling her, I'm going to pay you back and I'm going to let you know that it was worth it. And he's going to find a job and take care of all the bills. And now, I'm not saying that ex con can't make no money. That's not true. But depending on how much she was making working at that prison, I don't know if he's gonna be making as much as she was right off the rip. So he's like. I'm pulling some of fat off. I respect him for saying that, but I would have been like, bro, let's be serious. Let's be serious. I mean, I'm One guy, he's on there. It's a black guy. How is he? I don't know. He in his 20s. Well, it might be his 30s. I don't know. But he met a 24, 25-year-old um, blonde hair, blue-eyed girl while she was in prison. They love whatever. Mm. No, I would follow my mouth like that. So when he went to pick her up from prison, y'all, he gave her all these clothes that he had bought, um, shoes, 
gave her some wine. I don't know if she's supposed to be drinking that. Ain't she drinking on national TV? She might be in trouble for that. But he also gave her $1,000 cash. Fresh out of prison. I can't even meet somebody to go give me $1,000 for love them for three years. And this man gave her $1,000 fresh out of prison. That was obscene. Oh, I said obscene. <laughs> that was absurd. Like, meeting anybody off the internet and this is your first time meeting them, you should always tread lightly because people give you what they think you want to know or you want to see. So, I can understand You know, maybe an outfit or two. Maybe a pair of shoes. That's that's whatever. But we bought her so much stuff. And a lot of it was Victoria's Secret. Like lingerie. And she was like, What do you want me to do with this? And he said, Oh, you know I want you to do do. And she said, You could look, but you can't touch. I'm not having sex with you. And she meant that. Like she told him, I'm not, I'm fresh out of prison. She says she haven't been touched in four years. Who knows? We don't know what they've been doing back there. But then it gets worse. So he thinks she's going to do probation at his house. I don't know if we got to get out. We got a prison. We got to get him back in that dress. I'm really gonna be living. Mm -hmm. She got him, y'all. She goes, I haven't seen my mother in years, so I'm gonna go to my mother's house. He takes her to the mother's house. And, you know, he's about to get out of the car. She said, what are you doing? I want you to meet my mom, but not right now. So she sent him on her first day out of prison. And later that night, she's on the phone with some other man. Calling him baby boo. Um, When I'm going to see you, come pick me up. All this. I said, ooh, she is scandalous. She clearly keeping something from him. But he didn't spend. I think he said he spent like $30,000 on her while she was in prison. I said, what? Yeah. What? How do you spend thirty thousand dollars on somebody's in prison? What are they doing with thirty thousand dollars? I know the oodles and stuff, the oodles and doodles and stuff in there don't cost no thirty thousand dollars. I thought she was putting that money into a separate account. Because she knew she wasn't going to be with her. And this another guy. Older guy. He's. He's 63. And the girl he's dating in prison is 39. Now this man. He's a millionaire. I don't know what he do. They don't really say that. Or. You probably did not miss it, but his net worth is $2 million. He lives in a big house, multiple cars, etc. He spent over $30,000 on this woman in prison, too. And then her brother ended up going to prison. 
And she don't ask him. Can he send the money to post bail for her brother? I said, oh no. Uh uh. Uh uh. And this poor little old man, he don't see that he getting used. Even when they talk on the phone, he say, I love you, she don't say it back. And then, oh my God, y'all. On the last episode, she revealed, well, he knew apparently, but we didn't. She's married. She's still legally married to somebody. And y'all know what I think is happening? I think, because her, her friend said it. No, his friend said it. I think she's still in that marriage. And like, you know, she got arrested and her and her husband like concocted this plan. It might sound crazy. But it happens to use this man for his money. Mm -hmm. That's what I think is going on. And can nobody tell me otherwise. Nobody. I'm getting into the fatty part. Y'all, this stuff gonna fall off this table. I'm be upset. Oh. Mm. That was a bite full of fat. Ew. Oh. Y'all used to like the fat when I was younger. Like my mom wouldn't eat the fat on her steak and I would I would eat it. Now I just like it for extra flavor, but I don't feel this was a whole bowl, whole bowl, whole by the fat. I'm not eating. It. I thought it was me in there, but it gooped me. See, some of this is meat and some of it is fat. But I'm gonna bite through it. Mm -hmm. Come back to the fat and get all the meat, y'all. Y'all probably like Trav, you are greedy. I am. They pop vodka and ain't even a fourth yet. Mm. All right, huh? Think about the good we're gonna get. That was good. But tell me, how far would you go to prove your love for somebody? I can do that. Excuse me. Mother guy was in prison for 11 years. There's no way 
I would date somebody who spent 11 years in prison right off rip. Let me say that. I don't want anybody thinking I'm, you know, trying to be black. But I'm not about to date you fresh out of prison for 11 years because you have been locked up in a box for 11 years. You haven't done anything. You haven't seen people. We haven't went nowhere. So I don't know if I'm getting the real you. I don't know how you're going to act in social settings. I don't know how you're going to, you know, respond to this, respond to that. I don't know. And I wouldn't be willing to take that chance. Not at all. Mm -mm. And then you've been locked up. I know some people do stuff in there. Some people don't. If you're one of the ones that don't, you about to come out here to this free world. And it's about to, every, everything you look going to turn. Every way you look, you're going to get turned on. I ain't got time for that because I'm going to be in prison. Mm -mm, I'm good. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Let me see how fast I can do it. Y'all already know. Check the description box below for the website. www.airtrap.com to get the air sauce, air merch, air all that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the bell right there. Hit the bell right there. So you can be notified each and every time I drop a video. But if you want to stay connected with the air traffic, back into the description box around the bottom. Boom. Right there on the same social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. And me follow me. Leave me coming to Instagram. Leave me coming to Instagram. Do whatever. Let me know. Like, but don't like, but don't see, but don't see, but don't say, but don't say, but don't leave, but don't let us zoom. Other than that, it's been real. AO Tap is out. Peace. I think I said it faster than normal. Pat myself on the back.